Uh, had that little lip in there. Got to get rid of that lip. Yeah, I uh, got to make sure the flay is. <laughs> I was trying to say the plate. Play. Alright everyone, welcome back to another episode of Project Junkies. On this one we're going to be continuing work on the C5 Corvette. Sherman. We're going to continue work on Sherman. Uh, so sure. last time basically we uh, made that piece that we're actually going to mount the shifter onto. Uh, it was just a matter of actually getting that piece to fit. So we found, uh, had that little lip in there. Got to get rid of that lip. Yeah, basically uh, we want to get that plate to sit as flat as possible in there. Um, that way we can help seal it. And we also have the cable to run and get that attached to the transmission. Um, in this case, it's actually going to be more of the gearbox rather than transmission. So, uh, guess we got to get to that. Let's do it. All right. Nut, lock washer, lock washer, nut, uh, rubber grommet, rubber grommet, tiny nut.
All right, well, as you saw, we didn't quite finish up the shifter yet. Uh, we ran into a few hiccups along the way, but we also got some things that actually went really well. So what do you think? Yeah, yeah, running the cable went really well. Um, cutting out that lip, that went by pretty good too. Uh, now that we know about our protective gear that we have, well, yeah. that we can use. Yeah, uh, keeping your eyes safe, uh, any cost, no matter what. Even if it means looking stupid. If you have the ability to keep your entire head safe while fire is happening around you, then yeah, do it. Might as well. Yeah, the um, Corvette uses a different style transmission. Uh, it has a separate gearbox, and so that means that the shift linkage actually goes to a completely different area. In this case, it's way in the back, um, and that makes things a lot more difficult. The shifter basically mounts reverse on how it would on normal transmission. The shifting arm actually goes on top rather than normally go on bottom. Um, and the cable goes in from the front rather than the back. So that means that the factory bracket that it came with to mount it up isn't gonna work in this case. Um, we think we have a solution. We're gonna need, uh, need to pick up some parts for that. Yeah, just gotta pick up some hardware. Should be easy though. Should be just like a couple things that we need. Hopefully, yeah. Yeah, as long as everything else works out, um, we'll have a pretty custom install on it, which uh, this whole thing feels pretty darn custom at this point. But once we have it, um, it should look good and should operate properly. Is that custom with a K? No, it's never custom with a K, ever. Alright, well, next episode we're probably still going to be dealing with the shifter, so we hope you guys will follow us along for that one too. Yeah, and hopefully it'll be the last one on the shifter. We really want to get it installed and get the car back on the road. Uh, so, we'll see you there. See you.